just uh, kind of tell me what soccer means to you at this yeah. point in your life and everything you've been through. Uh, how has soccer helped that and uh, and what has it meant to you? Yeah, I think soccer just like really gave me an escape from between like everything going on at home, things at school going on. Like it was a place I could come to feel not different anymore. Like it was like an equal playing ground, I guess you'd say, when it was when I was on the field playing, and it just gave me that opportunity to be who I was and express what I was feeling I guess. Well give you give you a chance to kind of have a have a, kind of a safe haven to go okay yes. stuff happening kind of all around mm -hmm. you're yeah. able to kind of go like you said you kind of go out and just throw the soccer ball and just kind of be alone with your yeah. thoughts a little bit. Yeah basically let me think about what was going on and what was evolving and how I could solve it or what I could do I guess. Tell me, so, so how do you feel like that that's helped you uh, just to be able to deal with things and, and as, as your life's gone on? I mean, you know, you've been with your grandparents for, what, almost 16 years? Almost 16 years, sir. So. so basically, I feel like if it weren't for soccer, I'd for sure be in like a ton of trouble, like as in school. Like, I think I could have fallen into the wrong crowd without the sport because with the sport, I've been held accountable for my actions. I can't just go and do whatever I want. I have people who are holding me accountable for what I'm doing and by falling into soccer allowed me to, you know, just be who I was and not fall into the drugs, the drinking, the all, like, just out running around. It kept me, I guess you'd say, closed and allowed me to not be as crazy as most people could be. Well, all right, uh, Aaron, just, just tell me a little bit about how the the role of the goalkeeper and how how Mace has how McKenzie has has kind of developed. I know you told me when we talked that uh, you were you were looking for a goalkeeper, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> and as a freshman she comes in and and sort of takes over. So mm -hmm. how has her role uh, just developed, and how important has she been to your team? Uh, vital, absolutely, very very important. Um, when I came in and was a part of the program. Um, I always, one of the first things I always do when I get somewhere is I need to find my keeper. Who's my keeper? Who's going to be my leader on the field? Who's going to be, uh, be leading from the back? Who's going to be owning the box? Um, and knowing that I had her was uh, was 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 a, was a very good uh, thing to find. So getting to have her a part of our program has been just, it's been a big deal. So very, very good. To, to put that sort of trust in a kid who's a freshman and now a sophomore, I mean, what kind of growth have you seen just, just in a year plus? Uh, a lot of growth. Uh, as a freshman, um, as you're aware, she, she was uh, our conference newcomer of the year, um, and I really didn't have to fight for it. Uh, the other coaches agreed. There were a lot of games that she kept us in that maybe we didn't belong in. Um, and, and I just, from the very beginning, I just told her, you're my keeper and I need you to, to uh, take ownership of your box. I need you to be strong, I need you to be big, and I need you to play like, like you've been here. And, and she took that to heart. Uh, and just as the season grew, she just grew bigger and bigger, not physically, but um, as a presence uh, in the back. And so uh, it was, it, it was never, there was never a question that she was our, our starter. But do you feel like that some of the experiences you've had have, have made you more aware of other people definitely have because I can I first and I'm telling you right now there have been parties that I've been at where there's been alcohol there's been things that I could have fallen into and I see my close friends falling into that themselves and I and what they don't see is the effect like I grew up seeing that and so seeing people do what they're doing little do they know what will happen from it and so for sure seeing that firsthand experiencing that firsthand is a selfish act to do something like that what about just as a as a coach seeing a kid who, like I said, had been through some challenges, you know, growing up, and because uh, one of the things I talked about in this story is a kid who probably had the opportunity to go the wrong way. Mm -hmm. You know, we we see kids make bad choices and go mm -hmm. there, and she probably had some chances to, but sure. uh, but and has plenty of excuses. Yes, plenty of reasons. Yes, um, but her. Her personality and her character is so opposite of that, um, that I think she was always destined for good things. Um, she was always destined to be a standout type of personality and character. And, and you know, she, she knows what she wants. She's driven. Um, she works her, her pants off every single day. She just, 
goes 100 every single minute of every practice. And so uh, her personality and her character has really shined through her ability to, to overcome no matter what comes her way, but to get up, dust herself off as she does when the ball goes in the back of the net. She gets up, she dusts herself off, and she either says, it's my bad, or come on guys, I need more from you. And so knowing that mistakes come, and I think that ties really well into the keeper position, that some, she's gonna get hit, she's gonna make some mistakes, and things are not gonna go her way necessarily, and she's gonna have to get back up and keep going.